This is Channel's television broadcasting live from Lagos. We do apologize, that's the much we can take from business morning as we join our crew in Abuja, Nigeria's federal capital territory for a live coverage of Nigeria Law School Call to Bar. By the, by the powers conferred on me as the Secretary of the Body of Benches, I call the House to order and welcome the Chairman and Benches to this unique occasion of the December 2015 call to Nigerian Bus, today the 15th day of December 2015. May I also take the opportunity to welcome the parents, guardians, well-wishers, friends, and guests of applicants for call to bar at this ceremony. May I now, with the leave of Mr. Chairman, call on the Chairman of the Council of Legal Education to step forward to report on the state of readiness of the applicant for call. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, sir, the students of a Nigerian law school who have successfully completed their training and passed the bar examinations conducted by the Council of Legal Education are ready for presentation to the honorable body of benchers for call to the bar. May I respectfully, Mr. Chairman, seek leave to call on the Director General of a Nigerian Law School to present the report and to summon the applicants for call to appear before the Honorable Body of Benchers. Benchers leave is hereby granted a spread. The Chairman of the Body of Benches and my Lord, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Honorable Justice Mahmoud Mohammed, Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger. The Vice Chairman of the Body of Benches, Chief Bandele Aiku, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. 
The Honorable the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Bubaka Malami, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, past Chairman of the Body of Benches, the Chairman of the Council of Legal Education, Mr. O.C.J. Okucha, Member of the Order of the Federal Republic, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, distinguished and honorable members of the Body of Benches, honorable justices and grand cardies here present, the President of the Nigerian Bar Association, Mr. Augustine Alege, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, members of the Inner and Outer Bar, distinguished senators, honorable members of the House of Representatives, honorable ministers, and I recognize the presence of Mr. Babatunde Fashola, the Minister of Power, Works, and Housing. Our royal fathers here present, including the of Lagos, Obariwa, and Akiolu, proud parents and relations, ladies and gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to this historic ceremony, the second in as many months, for the admission to the Nigerian Bar of the successful candidates at the September 2015 Bar Final Examinations conducted by the Nigerian Law School under the supervision of Council of Legal Education. I warmly felicitate with our prospective new wigs present for this memorable event. I congratulate them all for their diligence, hard work, focus, and commitment. I also extend warm felicitations to their parents and relations here and beyond for being part of this memorable event. I particularly commend the students that came out with first class honors. As it is customary, they will be called and admitted tomorrow at the last call ceremony, which is also the prize awarding event. They have worked very hard to merit their grades after a very thorough assessment. They have all done the Nigerian Law School, their families, and the nation proud. Let me also congratulate the universities that produce these top students, namely University of Nigeria, University of Jos, Namdi Azikiwe University, Babcock University, University of Abuja, University of Meduguri, University of Lagos, and University of Ilori. The same sentiment is extended to the campuses of the Nigerian Law School where they studied. Continuous progress. The last call to the bar ceremony was in October, and this ceremony is unusual in its proximity to the last, coming so close on its heels. The simple reason for this occurrence was the decision of the Council of Legal Education to undertake an additional session within the 2014-2015 school year. That was done to prevent the large number of law graduates affected by the 2013 Academic Staff Union of Nigerian Universities Industrial Action from having to wait for a year before attending the Nigerian Law School. Students of that class, generally known as the backlog set, commenced their studies in April 2014 and were called to the bar last October. The prospective new wigs here assembled are the true owners of the 2014-2015 school year. They commenced their program in October 2014 and are to be presented to your distinguished body for call to the bar today. Security situation. The security situation in the country has necessitated appropriate proactive measures from the management of the Nigerian Law School. Of note are campuses in Yola, Kano, and Abuja to which ample attention has been concentrated. We are moving on to the next phase of more equipment deployment for total security coverage. As I indicated in my speech at the October call to the bar ceremonies, Yola and Kano campuses that were hitherto unsecured with perimeter walls are now fully well secured with fortified fences capped all run with concertina wire and concrete structures in areas of ravine and swamps. I will also acknowledge the cooperation of the military authorities, particularly the Chief of Defense Staff and his colleagues, for their support and useful advice on security matters. 
The Inspector General of Police, the officers and men of the police force have also been very helpful in all our campuses. We appreciate their prompt responses to our calls and the valued on-site services they render. I am in no doubt whatsoever that we can count on their support in the future. Progress on deployment of information and communication technology. We, have now, we now have in place the facility known as the Classroom Solution, which is a video conferencing platform to link all our campuses. This is for the purpose of holistic provision of special lectures from any campus with students in other campuses participating simultaneously. It is deployed by the Nigerian Communication Satellite Limited, NICOMSAT, a federal government agency. When fully operational, all the students of the Nigerian Law School will be united as a class during our special lecture series to be facilitated by prominent members of the bench and the bar. The main advantages of this project are that the special lecturers will be in contact, the special lecturers will be in contact with all the students at the same time, and the challenge of a lecturer visiting every campus to deliver the same lecture will be eliminated, saving time, money, and the inconvenience of multiple journeys. The biometric component of the project has been successfully implemented at the headquarters in the current 2015-2016 school year. It will, in the course of the session, be extended to the older campuses. We shall, on, on annual basis, make these details available to the secretariats of the Nigerian Bar Association and the body of benches for storage. It is hoped that this humble contribution will have profound impact in identification of those who are truly enrolled as legal practitioners in our country. Planning for the future. At the last October call to the bar ceremonies, I highlighted the continuing challenge of violation of admission quotas by some law faculties. I am again reiterating the essence of strict adherence to the allocated students' numbers by the law faculties. The allocated figures are a product of empirical evaluation of available facilities in the faculties, and consequently, failure to keep to these numbers will impact negatively on the quality of the products. My Lord, the Chairman, distinguished members of the body of benches, the extent of violation is so profound in some cases as to border on brazenness. We had in recent past the case of a faculty of law, now closed, with a carrying capacity of 50 students, but enrolling as many as 700. This sort of violation disrupts the projection of the Nigerian Law School in the short and medium terms. My appeal to our universities is that due heed should be paid to the decision of the Council of Legal Education and National Universities Commission. It is my hope that the recently introduced initiative of the three organizations in which the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board will only allocate the approved number of students by the Council of Legal Education and the National Universities Commission to every faculty of law at the point of admission will to a great extent alleviate the challenge. Forging partnerships. Mr. Chairman, distinguished members of the body of ventures, globalization of the legal profession has made it quite imperative that law faculties and law schools should forge constant interactions for mutual benefit. In this regard, efforts are on for mutually beneficial linkages among the law schools in Commonwealth African countries. It is in furtherance of this proposal that we have here with us at this event this morning, the Director of Ghana School of Law, Mr. Kwasi Prempe Ek, and the Registrar, Mr. Charles Hussey Bonso. We welcome and wish them a pleasant stay in Nigeria.